Hey guys, if you are new to this channel, my name is Ryan and I am the Amazon and eBay guru on YouTube and I make videos on how to sell on Amazon, how to make money online and also how to sell on eBay. But mainly I make videos on how to sell on Amazon and show you how to use the online arbitrage business model to grow your Amazon FBA business. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of tactical arbitrage and sourcing products from within Canada. So on Canadian online retailers websites and then sourcing them to sell on Amazon.ca. I usually focus on Amazon.com, but I wanted to change it up today for this video and source for selling on Amazon Canada. So let's get right into it. Uh, this is the Tactical Arbitrage main page once you've signed up. If you have not signed up, there'll be a link in the description below where you can get a 10-day trial for completely free, no obligation, and you could give this a try for yourself. So I've only been a member since 2018. This is actually something to note. So I haven't even been a member for a year, but Tactical Arbitrage has completely changed the way my business is run, and now I'm selling Last year, so around this time last year, 90% of my sales were coming from Amazon.ca and now 90% of my sales are coming from Amazon.com this year, one year after starting Tactical Arbitrage. So this is actually something to note is that this can literally change your business and obviously 90% of my Amazon.com sales is significantly more than my Amazon.ca sales were last year. My business has grown substantially since using tactical arbitrage so I highly recommend it for any Amazon sellers that are looking to grow their business or that are doing the online arbitrage business model because if you're doing private labeling there's no reason that you can't do online arbitrage as well because it will definitely help you grow your Amazon FBA business so let's get right into it we can hop on to product search and I hope everyone had a good Prime Day. Honestly, my Prime Day was pretty bad. I sold less in the two days of Prime Day than I sold the following day and the next day. The next day and the following day after that were more in sales than both Prime Days. So that was kind of weird, but I feel like most people go on Prime Day to find deals and I didn't have any sales on my products. I just left them at normal prices. So that's kind of why I figured there was a bit of a dip on Prime Day, but I did purchase a lot of inventory, purchased about $150,000 of inventory to send in to Amazon. So that's going to help a lot. And the interesting thing about the inventory that I sourced, it wasn't all from Amazon. A lot of other retailers were copying Amazon's Prime Day deals and putting their own deals on their own websites. So I purchased actually a lot of inventory from other websites and like my typical online suppliers, but they would have quite significant deals. So that's why I purchased so much in those two days. So I had been running searches. This was probably uh, a week or so ago. I had been running searches on amazon.ca and it took about maybe 10 or 15 minutes to run these searches. And I found, I think it's over three, yeah, over 3000 products, almost 4000 products that would technically be Found as profitable but you do have to go through them and make sure that they indeed are profitable uh, so it you can use either a virtual assistant or you can do this on your own I typically use a virtual assistant for all my Amazon sourcing and for my tactical arbitrage sourcing but in this case I'm going to be showing you how I do it and what I tell my virtual assistants to look for so like I said this is all sourcing from Canadian retailers and then we are looking for products that we can sell on Amazon.ca. So out of these 3,700 results we can sort them and what I like to sort by is estimated monthly sales because we want fast moving products. This was my big mistake when I first started out on Amazon is I would purchase products that would maybe double in value, but it would take a year or two for them to get discontinued and then um, then the products would double in value or go up, say, one and a half times. But my problem was I had so much money sitting in inventory rather than the inventory turning around and being able to purchase a bunch of inventory with that same money. I was sitting on so much inventory and just storing it, and then I was still making money off of it, but it was 
a lot different business model than I use now. So now I look for products that are fast sellers so that I can purchase them and then have them sell out quickly and then reinvest the profits from that into additional inventory. So what we can see here, and just keep in mind, like I ran this search like a week ago and I haven't updated it. So what you can do, if you've ran a search like a week ago or a month ago, then you can go select all and then you can press update data and what that will do is it's going to update all the prices and it's going to update whether the product is in stock or not. I haven't done this and it will take a little while so I'm just going to leave it for today but that is what you can do. So let's see the first product is this Nintendo DS from the source. So all you do is click on the product name and that's going to pull it open and we can see whether or not it's in stock and whether it's going to be profitable and whether it's going to make sense to buy. So we can see that this one's out of stock. So let's go to the next one. And I'm guessing, like I said, I haven't looked at these, but I'm guessing a lot of these fast selling ones are going to be out of stock, but that's why you just got to keep going through and seeing what you can find. And so j just to look, look at the uh, Nintendo DS again, uh, if that would have been in stock, I wouldn't purchase that because the gross ROI I is just 5%. Like that's such a low gross ROI. And keep in mind for this search, I left the parameters quite open. This it wouldn't be a typical search, but I just wanted to show you how much stuff you can find in li literally like 10 or 15 minutes of sourcing with tactical arbitrage. I would typically run a little different searches with different search parameters and different filters. But for the purpose of this video, I wanted to show you really how much you can find with selling on Amazon and with using tactical arbitrage. Other way we could filter it is we can filter it by gross profit. And this is an extreme example, but I'm just going to show you anyways, is this is from henrys.com. Even though it says .com is actually a Canadian company, and all we do is it, we can click on this and make sure they have it in stock. Um, but basically this is a $3,219 profit, but you have to invest 13,000 into it. So this obviously would not be a typical buy where you're gonna be buying 10 of these, but we can see that it's even on sale. Like I said, I haven't updated it. So um, it's actually now on sale for 87 25 and it's also a special order item. So this is something that it's gonna take a while to get. You'd have to contact them and if you were interested in something this high value, I typically would not source something this high value because I sell solely through Amazon FBA and there's a lot of scammers on there who will scam you for very high value items. So I would not risk it with this particular product but let's just see what it's actually selling for. You can see that this product is indeed selling for $13,000 and we can buy it for $8,725. So if I was to go with an item like this, what I would do is I would purchase it, the item and then sell it through Merchant Fulfilled. Like I said, I don't sell Merchant Fulfilled anymore, but if I was to sell this particular item, I would sell it merchant fulfilled and then what I would do is ship the item with insurance and with signature confirmation so that we can ensure that the customer actually receives it and signature confirmation and insurance protects you in the event that the item arrives damaged. So that's what I would do for this particular item and you could make like now that it's on sale another $650 or probably another like $500 so it could be like $3,700 profit but who knows how fast they sell. And as we can see, it says estimated monthly sales at zero. It's likely not even going to sell. So this was just sort, um, sorting based on gross profit. But if we sort based on estimated monthly sales again, then we can see that this first one was 243 and 239. So these are very fast selling items, selling around eight units a day. Next was also from the source, it's the wireless router. Let's have a look. Yep, 
This one's out of stock, but it also went on sale. So now it's on for 130. Okay, so that, that is what it was showing at when we originally did the search. And this same one is $51 profit, 40% ROI. So in this case, as long as it's the same exact same router, C2300, yeah. So I would purchase this item and I would resell it on Amazon if it would have been in stock because it's a 40% ROA and a $50 profit. So say you buy 10 of them, that's $500 and they are selling around eight per day. So depending on how many you could get, you could make a significant amount of money from this particular product. But unfortunately they are out of stock. What I would do in this case is I would look at other retailers and see if anyone does have this particular item in stock because this could be a really good buy. The next one is a camera lens for a Nikon camera AF-S 55-200 millimeters. So same one. And you can also check in the pictures to make sure that it, it is the same one. And we can see this one is 111% ROI and $140 profit. And it is selling 234 units per month. That is a really good product. So let's see if the source has it in stock. So far the source hasn't had anything because likely someone ran the same search and purchased all these really hot sellers and is now making a bunch of money off them. So this one is out of stock as well, but we can see that if it would have been in stock, it would have been definitely a good buy. And, and this is what I do. So like I have 3000 products to go through and what I would typically do is get my virtual assistant to do this for me. But if I'm doing it on my own, this is what I do is I just go click down. If I see a product that's 699, I'm just going to skip it. That's too low a value. I like to sell products that are at least $50, but generally I sell higher value items. And that's one of the online arbitrage business models that I do use is the higher value items and sourcing high value items can be very beneficial, but you do need to have some money behind you because you're going to be putting a lot of money up front in order to purchase high value items. So like this one, it's a 15% ROI and a $96 profit, but you're putting $650 up front. We're just going to skip this one because it seems like the source is out of stock of everything. Uh, this, once again, is a very low value item, so I'm going to skip it. I like to look for items that are at least $50. Uh, that's just me. People can source these and make a lot of money off them, but me particularly, I don't like to go for the really low value items. I used to when I was first starting out, but now I do not. So we're going to see if we can find something that's at least $50. Okay, so we have this Radio Flyer Wagon from Toys R Us and it is selling on Amazon. It's a 37% ROI and a $59 profit, I like that. So let's have a look and see if they actually have stock and see if they're still at $159.99. Okay, $159.99. And they don't have stock online, but you can pick it up in the store. So if you're located in Canada and you have a Toys R Us nearby, then you could look and make sure that they do have it in stock. And for those of you from the United States that thought that all Toys R Us shut down, all Toys R Us in the United States shut down, but the Canadian Toys R Us is still up and running. So it is a, available to be sourced from as well. And so what I would do in this case is because it's a good profit, you could order it in store. And if I'm going to order products to the store to resell on Amazon, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to be purchasing a significant amount. So I buy five of these and then find a bunch of other Toys R Us toys to purchase all at once. So then when I go there, I can just fill up my truck and then have it make sense to actually have to drive and do that because 99% of the time, everything that I'm sourcing is from an online retailer. So if they had the ship to home, I would be getting it shipped right to my prep sender. Now let's check the Amazon listing for this same one. Yeah, it's the same. So we could get it for $159.99. Let's see what it's selling for on Amazon.ca now. And sorry guys, my internet's really slow today. I don't know why. 
uh, but it's typically not this slow. Could be because I'm upstairs as well, a little further from the rotor. So we can see that there's four people selling it right now, and the cheapest one is coming from the UK with a person who's not going to last too long on Amazon with 54% positive feedback, but um, basically you want to be looking at people this person's from the States, and then these two are likely from Canada. This one's definitely Canada. This one's probably Canada. And there's no FBA listing. So that presents an opportunity because if this was in stock on Toys R Us, which it is in store but not online, then you could purchase this item, have it sent to your prep center or to your house, package it up, send it to FBA. And this presents a big opportunity because there's no FBA listings and we can see that it is selling at 93 units per month and you can also check the camel 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 or the keepa graph so we'll go to camel 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 you just scroll over this and click on the camel 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 and this will show the price history uh, whether or not Amazon's had it in stock and the sales rank as well this we can see the prices went up it went quite low for one day like it looks like probably on boxing day came back up so yeah i would say this is a good buy and this would be a good opportunity to sell on amazon.ca in the fba program now it is a higher value item and like i said that's the kind of items that i source particularly but if you're someone who doesn't have a massive upfront investment or even a big upfront investment then I would stick to lower value items until you build that up. Next is a low value item and we can see there's a few and we can see a Philips Wake Up Light Premium. So this one's on for $109.98 on Toys R Us. Let's see if they have stock and yes they do have stock and there's another 10% off. So we're gonna be looking at another $11 off of this. So it's going to be around $99. And with that being said, this could be a really good buy. Let's just have a look with what it's selling for on amazon.ca. So it's selling for 150 on amazon.ca and we can get it for, like I said, $99 after that 10% off. And so with that being said, it was only a 10% ROI, but then we're adding probably another like $7. So then we're gonna be at 17 and probably about 17% ROI. So I would say this is kind of on the fence whether I would buy it or not, but because it's likely a faster moving product, 82 units, then I would definitely purchase this item because of that. And yeah, stock up on that. And then we can see that on Toys R Us, usually if there is a um, maximum quantity, it'll say like limit of five, but here it doesn't give you any limit, so you can order as much as you want, which is nice. We just wanna make sure that it is actually an HF3520, and that's always good to know. So we can see that it is an HF3520, and then that's slash six. And this one is HF3520 slash 60, so it is the same same item. And they just didn't put the zero at the end, but that it is the same thing. Even though the picture looks a little different, it's the same item. So I would purchase this one probably in a pretty significant quantity to make anything because it's uh, like probably around a 17% ROI. So not super high. I typically like to be around 25 or 30% at least. But on the, in this case, because it's a fast moving product, I would go ahead with it. What else do we got? So this is 40, 155, let's see. And like I said, guys, this took like 10 or 15 minutes. I don't know the exact amount, but I was just running searches and I can show you, actually I'll show you now what I was doing for these searches so that you can do the same thing. So, Sourcing from Canada, selling at Amazon.ca, and then you get access to these sites. And so I went through, I think I went through every UPC site, and then I went through some of the non-UPC sites. 
if you want to go through the non-UPC sites, you just deselect this and it'll give you more options. But typically the UPC set sites are going to give you the best match. So in this case, I would go through, so like in Indigo, for example, I would go and in the bulk category, you can select, select all, or you can select books, you can select whatever you want to sell. And so I, I went with kids and toys, then I would add to bulk, and I did the last used filter, and then search. And I go a lot more in depth with these kind of searches and how to grow your Amazon FBA business in my FBA Freedom course. So I'm just going to quickly talk about that. And basically, I show all my filters in that. So like in this, I'm just saying last used, but I do show all my filters and I show you how to source high value items, which is very valuable. So we'll just stop the search just because I already ran it. But basically, you run 10 searches at once and then you can run an additional 10 um, that are going to be in the queue. So that's what I did. And then I went through all those sites and it found 3,800 products. And then now I'm able to go through them and see which ones I'm going to actually purchase. And like I went through some of these on Prime Day and some of them, some of them were even more on sale. And I purchased some of these, not these particular ones, but um, from my original search, I delete the ones that I do purchase. So anyways, here's the Baby Brezza Formula Pro. Let's just close these. And let's see if Toys R Us has stock. So if it goes to the main page like this just did, that means that they are out of stock of that particular item. Uh, let's see if they have this. This is right at $50. I'll have a look at it. So it went up to $60. It's free in store pickup, but not available for ship to home. Let's just skip this one. $30, $30. Here's a $380 thing. But it's a different. We can see that the pictures don't match. So let's just skip this one. This one does match, but it's just an 11% ROI. Even though it's $63 profit, I'm not going to go with this one because I know it's super heavy. iPad. 128k. The source will likely be out of stock. Lego, which is gated for most people, so let's skip this one. A big screen TV. All the source. Um, here's a little tykes trike. Looks like the color is different. Let's skip that one. So yeah, this is basically the strategy that I use. Like I said, I've taught my virtual assistant to do this, but um, if I'm doing this sourcing myself, I'll just scroll through and you can kind of make decisions on the spot and go through and figure out which ones are going to be profitable or not. Like for example, this one's a 4% ROI. And like I said, I would never normally run my search parameters this wide open, but I just wanted to show you really how much stuff can be pulled, but I would not purchase this, even though it's like $7 profit and 4% ROI, I would never purchase this. So as you can see, we went through about 35 products and we found a couple of good ones. You're not always going to find perfect products in your first search or in all your searches, but there definitely is a lot of profitable products that you can find using Tactical Arbitrage. And if you want to get started on Tactical Arbitrage and grow your Amazon FBA business, make sure you click that link in the description below. It allows you to have a free trial for 10 days using the coupon code Amazon and eBay Guru. And then you get access to that 10 day trial and you get access to everything you see here. And there's a lot of different searches that can be run. This is only one small portion of tactical arbitrage. And also keep in mind that if you're going to be using a reverse search and other searches on here, that storefront stalker pro goes with tactical arbitrage. So I'll put a link in the description below for that as well. So make sure you check both of those out and if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That really helps me and it helps me to continue to produce this free content and help you guys grow your Amazon FBA businesses. So don't forget to also subscribe to my channel for more and thanks so much for watching.